Hi folks, we have one of a kind here. We have a Permobil F5. These, you don't see too many of these around. <clears throat> this one was sent to us and we got it here and we didn't realize because it looked new and we bought it and it had 415 miles on the chair, but just the way it looked, that's why we bought it. We thought it was literally brand new. 415 miles, so we thought, wow, we don't usually sell chairs with 415 miles, but it looked new and everything worked perfectly. But what we did, we did replace the two motors. So we have, we spent $1,600 for two motors, my cost, 16. So these are brand new motors. We have the receipt for the motor, so you can see what we paid for them. So there's two brand new motors in this chair, which is the most important part of the chair, okay? So the F5, this one here with the two new motors, it has the 14 inch seat lift. You don't, the, most chairs only have 10 or 12. This has the 14 because it's an F5. The top speed on this chair is seven and a half miles an hour because it's an F5. This is why they're hard to find because uh, not too many people will pay the extra money to have the high speed motors and the 14 inch seat lift, okay? So this chair has the 14 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. It has other features and again, remember it has two new motors. So we'll, the price will be accordingly but if you need an F5 but you want that chair that most people cannot get, this would be one to look at. Right now the seat is sitting at 24 inches off the ground. We can make it 22. So if you need to be dropped down two more inches, we have, we have the hardware to bring the seat down two more inches. But if you were going to start here with the seat lift, you would start at 24. And if you add 14 inches, you would be, you would be at 28 inches high. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the seat lift. Now all the function on this chair have to be worked through the joystick. So you want to go to the joystick and the button on the left side, you keep pushing it forward, okay? Pushing it forward, I'm sorry folks, let me rephrase that. The seat is sitting at 24 inches. If you, had, if you add 14 inches, you'll be at 36 inches, okay? So my math is not very good. So 24 inches the way it is there, by the time you go up 14 inches, you'll be at 36 inches. You'll be eye level talking to someone if they're standing in front of you. Okay, so you go on the screen, you want to find the picture of the seat by pushing that little left button forward. I'm going to keep doing it now. There we go. And now we're going to go, we just want, we just want the bottom cushion to be yellow. So you can change the colors by moving the joystick sideways. When the bottom cushion is yellow, then you use your joystick to go up and down. So if I, if I push it forward, you can see the seat start going up right now. The nice thing about this chair, once the seat is all the way up 14 inches, you can also drive the chair at a good speed. So let me show you. It'll be a reduced speed, but you'll still be able to drive it. So we're all the way up almost. So if you were sitting in this chair right now, I'd be talking to you eye level. Okay. Let's put it back in drive so you can see. With the seat elevated, you can see how wants to take off. That's a fast chair, folks. You can see how it's elevated, okay? So you can see the armature for the seat lift. The actuator for the seat lift is right there. You can actually see the suspension. There's one here. There's one shock here that's adjustable with this ring right here. You can adjust the tension more or less. You have one shock here, one shock here. You have two more on the other side. You have four of these shocks right here for the ride of your life. If I push down, you'll see the shock in the back working a little bit, okay? This chair, folks, weighs 450 pounds, so it's a really heavy power chair. So with the weight of the chair, the weight of the user, that's why you're going to get such a good ride, okay? This is a front-wheel drive chair. What that means is there's no wheels on the ground. There's a little tip wheel, but it's not on the ground. These are solid wheels, 14-inch wheels. They're not going to mark your floor. These are the original wheels on the chair, okay? These are the rear wheels right here, okay? These are caster wheels in the back. You also have an anchor point. This is where you secure your chair. It's inside of here, you can't see it. It's right here, and there's another one here by the fender. This is where you secure your chair if you're gonna transport your chair and you want to secure it down solid. There's a motor right here for each wheel. Each wheel has its own motor, okay? So the motor on this chair goes directly to the hub right here. There's no chain, no belt to direct drive to the wheel, okay? If I wanted to push this chair, you can see it's not going anywhere because it's in gear, plus it's too heavy. But if I turn the power off, okay, and the motor, you can see the end of the motor is right here. That's your lever for neutral. If you push this down, okay, 
Now you're in neutral. See that? And the reason we turn the power off, we want no resistance in the motors. Push it down, you're in neutral. Push it back up, and you're back in gear. Okay, that's how you put your chair in neutral. We're going to put it back on, turn the power back on. Give it a second to reset. We're going to go back to the seat function, and now we're going to bring the seat down. You also have what's called a swing away joystick. So if you get to a dining table and you want to get real close without having to damage your joystick, you got a swing away joystick. If you're left handed and you want the joystick on the left side, that's no problem. It'll swing to the left side. Okay. And we're almost all the way back down. There we go. The next feature I'm going to show you is the electric tilt. So the electric tilt is when the bottom goes back. So you watch the bottom right here, that's the base. When it goes back, of course, it's going to take the legs, it's going to take the back because they're all connected together. This is called the electric tilt, okay? This is good if you need to relieve pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back, you want some circulation, a lot of medical benefits to this tilting back. The next thing I'm going to show you are the feet. So let me move the feet up. So if you want some really good circulation, you can move your feet up. Now this chair is equipped with calf pad that are rounded. It's got some pluses and minus on that, okay? I'll explain that in a second. So if you want your legs all the way up, you see how it does? Remember I was telling you about the calf pads, folks? The calf pads are around, which is good. It keeps your, it would keep your calf without going anywhere. The only problem with that is when you go to, uh, see if I can do it without pinching my hand. When you shut the foot plate, you're not going to be able to get out of the chair without, without the foot plate being completely flat. It'll still be out here. Okay. So great to have these custom made pads, but they don't allow the foot plate to drop down when you get out of the chair all the way across. If you don't like these, we can put the flat ones on here, folks. We can put the flat ones. I just left them on in case you say, I want to keep that the way it is. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the tilt back down and show you that if you're halfway tilted, if you're halfway tilted like this, you could still have your legs up in the air. These chairs can be programmed. So if you have any programming you want, to be, you want us to do, we can program them here. Where if you want the back and the legs to go down at the same time, all that can be adjusted on here. This is why some stuff was moving. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the legs back down. So we've done the seat lift. We've done the tilt. Uh, we've done the... Uh, let's bring the legs back in. When you're outside, <clears throat> leave those legs out a little bit when you're outside, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the seat back level. If I can ever figure out these buttons here. So I'm going to put the seat level, okay? So we have the seat level. I'm going to bring the legs back down this way. Uh, the reason I'm confused on these joysticks, a lot of the other chairs, it's the opposite way when you do the joysticks. So now we're going to talk about the back. So the last feature left is the back. So this is the reclining is when the back goes back by itself. So you can see the back going back right now. That's called the electric recline. Nothing else is moving on the chair, but the back is going down. <clears throat> and we'll see how far the back will go. So the back is all the way down. So this is a flat back, so you can see you're pretty much flat. And you can have your legs up like earlier, like I showed you. And then you can be laying flat in your chair. As a matter of fact, let me show it to you now. So you can see that you can have your legs all the way up in your chair when you're laying flat. So remember, um, whoop. these are flip up arms, so if you transfer from the side, you can transfer from the side. If you need lateral pads for your knees, we can add this to this bar right here. Anything you need on this chair, if the seat's too big, too small, too large, 
So we can do all that. So you can see if you're laying in the chair, that's what your laying, that's what your laying position would look like, okay? So we're gonna bring the feet back down. And this chair is also equipped Oh, the feet. We're gonna bring the feet down. This chair has been programmed, so it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, which is good. It's programmed like if a person just wants the seat, the tilt, and the legs to go down at the same time. That's why it's got it's got like ten different ways you can push the button on here. Uh, but we'll reprogram it factory from the factory. So when you ask for the legs to go down, the legs will go down. The back will come up at the same time because they're programmable, programmable for several people with different positioning. They want, to do, they want to raise the back and the leg at the same time. They just hit one button here, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring the back, back up. So you can see the back coming back up. This is an extra large headrest too. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring the seat back to level. I hate the way it looks right there. So I'm gonna bring the seat back up to level so it looks normal, there we go. And now we're gonna put the chair back in drive. And I'm gonna show you how it turns in a circle. So if you have it in your house, let me bring it over here. So if you have it in your house, that's what you're looking at. This is how you would turn a circle in your house. Okay? Now if you want to turn in a better circle than this, bring the legs all the way in. You know what I mean? Right now your legs are this far out. Bring them in and you'll have a better circle. This chair is also equipped with headlights. So if you look over here, this has got the actual headlight from the factory. These will light up 20 feet in front of your chair. These are real headlights. You have headlights and you have tail lights you have hat hi folks back to the headlights and the tail light this chair is supposed to have flashers hazards and all that it's been disabled on the joystick so that so the person can use other functions on her joystick like the seating system i was showing you earlier how it was going down two different ways so we're going to reprogram the whole chair so we get back to the flashing lights but it does have flashing lights tail lights headlights but as i said this chair has been reprogrammed and we can we can deprogram it, okay? We can deprogram it over here. So we're gonna turn the headlights off and we're gonna talk about the seat. The seat on this chair is 18 by 18, but we can make the seat any size you want. If you want 20, 21, 16 inches, whatever size you want, we can change the cushion. We can expand these seats right here, wider, shorter. You let us know your body size, okay? You have a nice contoured back. As I said, you have a big headrest in the back. You can see the headrest right here. It's fully adjustable. You have bag hooks over here. So if you want to carry a backpack, which we do have some here, and you have a headrest over here. And I was just going to check something on the headrest. Okay, it's just a regular large headrest. It's got a contoured back. So when you put your head in here, it'll, it's got about a four inch dent in the middle for your head to rest. When you charge the batteries on this chair, you'll take your charger. We're gonna use this charger today. For example, this may not be the charger, but we'll use this one. You plug it right there, and as soon as the light goes to full, you're fully charged, okay? The battery charger will stop charging. These are smart battery charge. They know when to stop, okay? So, let's go back over this chair. This is a Permobil F5 power chair with 415 miles, somewhere around there. We did replace the two motors. We have $1,600, my cost, in the two motors, brand new motors. So that's the most important part of this chair. It has the 14-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. It has the custom uh, calf pad. It has the swing-away joystick. It has the headlights from the factory. It has the Rojo cushion, flip-up arm suspension, solid tires. So if you're looking for an F5, but you don't want to spend the top, top dollar, you may want to look at this one, and you may be able to be riding in an F5. So this is the Permobil F5 power chair. So I'm getting six, 6.9 miles an hour on here.
So it's right about seven miles an hour is the top speed. This one has the brand new motors. As I said, I spent $1,600 on those two motors. You can see how nice it drives. When you stop, it stops nice and straight. It has electromagnetic brakes in the motors, so uh, it stops the chair within a couple of feet. So no problem with the chair. Runs like a brand new one, of course it has, it has the new motors, so it should. So we're going to elevate the seat right now. You see the seat is going up right now. So this chair will go up to 14 inches with the seat elevated. So if you want a chair with speeds of seven miles an hour so right around there with the 14 inch seat lift you want an f5 because you're not going to see too many f5s out there most of them are f3s and m3s i think we're all the way up yep so now we're going to put it back in drive and see how fast it drives with the seat elevator let me turn the chair around So about three miles an hour with the seat elevator on this one. This one's programmed to go three miles an hour. So if you're gonna get this chair right here, it has the seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the electric legs, the new motors, the headlights, the tail lights, uh, the swing away joystick. This chair is available and it'll be a good price on this one. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.